What's up YouTube? This is Danny Draghi with the guide to improve your PvP skills in Mirror 4. So if you want to clap those cheeks harder than they've ever been clapped before, click on that like button and strap in because it's about to get clappy. Let's talk about gearing up for PvP. First a quick disclaimer. The game values pure stats more than increased PvP damage or skill damage or anything really that is not raw stats. This is because X-type damage is situational while raw stats are always on. My PvP setup is 200 power lower than my boss setup, but the PvP setup will do much better in battles versus other players. The small boost in stats don't even begin to compare to the 30% increase of all damage output to players. I know there are more ways to gain PvP damage than this, but this is great for someone to work towards who is just starting out while the other upgrades will come at a much later time. Let's start off with some equipment. Roll enchantments on all gear until you get a PvP attack damage boost or reduction. Each bonus can be between 0.4 and 2.4%. Try to end up with at least 10-15% to total as this is where the majority of your PvP buff will come from. Secondary enchantment should be crit, bash, or skill damage or reduction, debilitation based, or all damage increases and reductions. Basically avoid anything monster or boss related. Magic stones. Mana or force stones will probably be your best bet, but anything with PvP damage and stats such as accuracy, evade, etc. work well with them. Skill damage or reduction is also okay. Again, the point is to focus on PvP. Fill in the empty slots with whatever you have on hand while avoiding monster and boss damage. Spirit Pets If you only have uncommon pets, equip your dragon, Bull Master Moo Moo, Lantern Master Lamp Hunt, and Dark Serpent Masla, or any rare or epic pets you unlock over time. The best treasures would be the Tarnished Blue Violet Bell and Tarnished Lightning Bell as those can be hard to obtain, crit, bash, or debilitation modifiers can be helpful to fill in until they can be acquired. Constitution All aspects of constitution are helpful for PvP. Evade should usually come before health and accuracy before mana as those attributes share the same resources. Inner Force Focus on upgrading the 9 Yang manual before the others as they include monster damage modifiers that don't help you in PvP. Codex Uncommon magic stones are enough to get some extra PvP attack and defense, but if you complete Bloodshade, Nephroxian Horn, Beautiful Sister Magia, the First Sage, and the Nephroxian Pearl Mysteries, you will be able to gain more of each. Conquest Tower of Quintessence level increases PvP damage up to 10%. At levels 2, 6, and 10 you'll gain another magic stone slot. At level 5 and 10 of the portal you'll gain a slot for an additional spirit pet. Training Sanctum will reduce incoming PvP damage by up to 10%. Clan Warfare Surprise attack and attack formation will increase PvP attack damage. Defense formation will decrease incoming PvP damage. Let's move on to some skill combos. The object of each class is to combo certain skills in order to do increased damage and further debilitating effects. If you're able to dodge these key abilities, you'll be able to drastically reduce the damage output of your enemy. Learn the skills of each class and how they work with each other and what they look like to excel at PvP. One way to do that is to play alternate characters in each class, or another way is to practice. You're able to get 500 clan coins each day by dueling two people. Dueling frequently will give you a better understanding of how other classes work and how to play against them without any negative side effects. Before we go any further, I want to make sure you have all of your abilities equipped, and none of them are on autocast. Using autocast will make it very hard to time your combos correctly and make you an easy target at bad times by rooting you in place. If you want to be good at PvP, you will need to decide the best moment to use each of your abilities to their greatest effect. You should also be comfortable switching between your first and second skill bar on the fly. 1v1 Tips If someone tries to jump you while you are farming, try to keep your combo going for an additional 5% damage. Enemies will usually lead with a very important ability in order to empower their other abilities against you. If you can dodge this early ability, it should be an easy victory. If they land it, try to disengage and debilitate them for the next 5-10 to 10 seconds before going back in for your full combo. 
If you're starting to lose, you can try to kite them into a group of enemies so that they attack them while targeting you. The additional damage could help you turn the battle. Enemies will typically try to burst you down with their ultimate abilities once you fall below 20% health, so watch for their animations and have a dodge or immune skill ready. Try to strafe in a circle around your target to avoid skills that attack in a straight line until your back is to the exit. This will make it easier to escape if needed while your enemy will have a harder time getting away. Full Team Tactics Target focus and positioning are key to victories in battle. If your team can focus the correct targets and have better positioning, you will win. Nearly all skills and attacks in Mirror 4 do area of effect damage. If people are targeting you, you can drag them around the area by kiting away from them. Use this to clump the enemies together so your party's abilities are inflicting damage and CC upon the entire enemy party while they're only able to hurt two or three of your allies to tip the tide of any battle in your favor. There is an option in settings to follow the party leader and attack their targets. If the whole party does this together, it will make focusing the correct target very easy as the leader is the only person who has to choose the target and everyone else will automatically lock on. The problem is that if you do not manually position your character, you will all clump up and get nuked by the enemy team. Often when disengaging a group of enemies, one or two members may attempt to chase you down much farther than the others. If well coordinated, your party can burst these few players down quickly and then overwhelm the remaining enemies before reinforcements can arrive. That is all I have for this guide to PvP and Mirror 4. Thanks so much for the overwhelming support. It really has inspired me to make more videos. Please leave your suggestions in the comments and subscribe to have your ideas featured in future content. Peace.